you know, I'm no stranger to, uh, to hard times, so. <laughs> See, you cried and you made me cry. <laughs> um, just digging deep, honestly, you know, uh, you're going to be faced with adversities um, throughout your life. Uh, this was a pretty big one, but I just kind of relied on my hard work, getting through it. I know this sounds so small, but, you know, dying in practice, you know, and, and just hard workouts. Uh, you find a way to just grind it out. Just put your head down and, and just keep going. Just keep moving forward. Just being aware of what was going on when, you know, you don't know anything. You you just, you're there, you're sitting there, you're you're like, okay, I know people are, are, are fighting for me or bringing awareness um, to what's going on. And uh, those, those, those times where I was able to see what was going on, it, it definitely, you know, it, it, it made me a little bit more comfortable. Um, it made me a little bit have hope. Um, which is a really hard thing to have, a really dangerous thing to have, because you know when it doesn't work, it's so crushing. And I would say to to everyone that is wrongfully detained um, right now across the world, uh, stay strong, keep fighting, don't give up, um, just keep waking up, find a little routine, and and stick to that routine and as best you can. I know that's what, what helped me, just finding little things. Just keep pushing, because we're, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop fighting. We're not gonna stop bringing awareness to everyone that's, that's left behind right now.